you posted on Instagram this caption here. Took some L's on the way to the dubs. And I was curious, what was the biggest L you've taken at this point? Um, the biggest L I feel, let me see how I can say this. The biggest L that I've taken was not taking the initiative to figure out that I'm not always right in situations. And um, it caused me to lose like one of the most important people to me in my life. Um, I remember hearing, I remember seeing this text message. I don't think you're ready. And I was like, I'm ready. But I was more stubborn than I acknowledged. And so um, I live with these, I live with the decisions that I made every day since them days. And the worst thing that you could say in coming to uh, terms with is that it ain't shit you can do about it besides make sure it don't happen again. You know what I mean? So that was one of my, my biggest L's. I didn't really get really specific with it, but um, yeah. what I can say is my biggest L is not growing up fast enough. You know what I'm saying? Not acknowledging fast enough, not being a man about certain things, but I didn't know though, you know what I mean? I was raised in the Bay Area um, around just a certain vibe, you know? And I felt like I was doing it right, you know what I'm saying? Um, and um, not taking care of being insecure, not taking care of being, I needed to be, um, how can I say what I was saying? It? I just needed to acknowledge some things faster. I just wish I fixed things faster. And I wish that I was, um, at more accepting of information to where I, I could find out that I wasn't always right, just period, you know what I'm saying? Just finding out that I wasn't always right about certain situations, that's what fucked me up the most. That was my biggest L. And so it forced me to grow up a little bit faster than I wanted to, but it made me grow up at the pace that I needed to, you know what I'm saying? So. And it never happened again. You took, once you took care of that L, you've you you you've been better since. Yeah, I've been I've been better since. I I went on, I was on a bumpy road though because I thought, you know how you think you're doing something right the whole time. Like say if you're doing a puzzle, right, and you put the puzzle together and you go boom five thousand five thousand uh piece puzzle, and the picture ain't nothing like how it look on the box, and you like fuck I gotta start over. That's the worst thing. That's the worst feeling. You feel like everything was a lie. I felt like everything was a, a, not really a lie, but I felt like I didn't know myself no more. I was like, wow, I'm actually not the person who I was riding with the whole time. You know what I mean? So I fucked myself up a lot of, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, you know, it, yeah, <laughs> it and, fucked me up. And this was a realization you came up with on your own or did somebody point this out to you and, and help you? It was a realization that I kind of knew in the back of my head. I just was pushing it back because I was like, no, this is, you know what I'm saying? This is who I am. I'm doing it right. But there's a very special person who I think, because um, she was part of, you know, the people that I kind of, let down as as you if you would um i'm not really gonna say her name because i don't have her permission but she literally taught me so much about myself that i didn't know and that i now realize that i was like whoa like i feel like you know how i don't really believe i mean i believe in coincidence uh, but i believe in you know god putting people in your life for a special reason it's just up to you to find out that reason. And I feel like she was brought to my life to help me um, grow up, you know? Like, this, she's my, my guidance, you know what I'm saying? So. On the opposite end of the spectrum, what's been your biggest dub so far? Um, growing up, acknowledging who I am, 
I know I'm saying that a lot, but that's a big part of, you know, even me being here still today. Growing up, you know, doing things differently and f being happy officially, bone in, bone out, like all the way to my bones. I'm like genuinely happy. That's my biggest dub. Not the, not the, um, you know, the music, not the whatever. Like my biggest dub is um, my mental, you know, and being able to reach, be, be able to reach the man that I was supposed to be. You know, it's better late than, you know, better late than never, you know what I'm saying? But I just wish it was sooner. When it comes to the mental side of things, ever gotten some sort of professional help with that, whether it was counselor, therapist, uh, mental health professional? Or when it comes to your mental, has everything that you've gotten to at this point to be been on your own terms? No, I, f I, don't, not, I don't really look for the professionals that um, are trained to say certain things. I look for the people who've been through the same thing and understand what I've been through. So the person who's my guidance, that was my therapist. That was my, you know what I'm saying, my mental help. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, um, no professional help. Are you opposed to it? Um, kind of because um, I feel like when you when you train to be a therapist, you're trained to look for certain things that aren't always the problem. You know what I mean? Um, like I have been in therapy before and when I was younger, but I had to be forced to go in there, um, not because of mental issues, but, and it was always like, I was telling them the truth, like, hey, this is boom, 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 and they were like, you're not ready. And I'm like, what? What you mean I'm not ready? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel as though, um, I feel like they go in already looking for something that's not, you know what I'm saying, the key that's gonna open the door to being successful to be 100% mentally there. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, I don't think I would go to a therapist unless it, he was probably, you know, black, once a ladies man. No no offense, you know what I'm saying? Because um, color ain't a thing. I mean, color is a thing, but that isn't always the, you know what I'm saying? I say that because I'm that color in not every white person or whatever, Armenian person or whatever is gonna be, you know, faced with the same traumas or, you know, situations that I've been through, you know what I mean? So I want somebody that's gonna go, okay, yo, you remind me of myself, this is what I did. Not, you know what, I think you should go to the doctors and get this, that, and the other, or you should face this with that and whatever, and you're like, what? Like, that has nothing to do with my, you know what I mean? So, yeah. When you have seen a therapist when you were younger, you just you saw one person or you saw different therapists? One. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, thinking outside the box, could this just been not the right therapist for you, this one person? Maybe if you saw somebody else, maybe you're Possibly. thinking about therapist might be a little different. Possibly. He was smart as hell, very intelligent, but... Um, possibly, but... It's not something that I really thought about like that, you know what I mean? Because I'm not like hella messed up. Like at that point, I definitely was messed up. Like a few years ago, I was over, you know what I mean?